Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Rune Words. So today we're going to be taking a look at a rune word known as Beast. Uh, beast is the uh, rune word that is Burr, Tear, Um, Mal, Lum. So it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 socket rune word. The Beast rune word is uh, usable in axes, scepters, hammers, and uh, and keep in mind that hammers and scepters are two separate uh, two separate things. So if you ever run into a rune word that is uh, is scepters only or hammers only, um, keep that in mind. There is also another category uh, which is maces, and maces is not hammers or scepters. So uh, keep that in mind as well. And uh, beast is well known for its ability to give you a fanaticism aura. Uh, it is one of two items that can give you fan fanaticism aura, the other of which is the Faith Bow. And uh, you'll see that the Faith Bow, when equipped, also gives you a fanaticism aura. However, the Beast Rune Word is more akin to a melee class's weapon, as the uh, Faith Bow is obviously more akin to a ranged weapon. Now the beautiful thing about the Faith Bow over the Beast is that it can be put on a mercenary, so keep that in mind. Um, but the Beast weapon can be wielded by the player. Now, uh, the Beast weapon has some very interesting stats, and we're going to go over those together. Um, so let me pull up the website here so we can take a look together. And um, and you'll see that the first thing right off the bat here is we get level 9 Fanaticism Aura with no variance. So it is always going to be level 9. We get 40% increased attack speed, which is very nice to have on a weapon. It just, it just is. Uh, 240 to 270% enhanced damage, which is very, very nice to have just in general. Um, it's uh, it, it, Having that almost 300% ED um, is going to make it a very viable weapon, and that is why a lot of people will put it in a Berserker's Axe, as I have it in this particular weapon here. Although, keep in mind that if you wanted to use this on like a Necromancer as your weapon so that you could increase the speed that your army is attacking, um, you might put this in a much lower uh, requirement item so that you wouldn't necessarily have to worry about the uh, the high requirements. Um, another thing we have here is the 20% chance of crushing blow, which is absolutely amazing. That is the 25% uh, reduction in the monster's HP. So uh, if a monster has, for instance, 1,000 HP, then you're going to be dealing 250 damage if you trigger the crushing blow. Um, and it is off of their current HP, not their maximum HP. So as their HP decreases, it does less and less damage. 25% uh, chance of opens wounds, which is amazing to prevent regeneration. Um, it will uh, last for 8 seconds, and while open wounds is up, the monsters will not be able to regenerate. It will also do damage based on your character's level. So it is very nice to have that in there as well. Uh, plus 3 to Werebear, and plus 3 to Lycanthropy. Now these are very interesting because it's going to give the, you the ability to actually turn into a bear. Um, so if we go back to uh, Diablo real quick and we take a look, um, I can actually go out into uh, the, the Bloodmore here and I can turn myself into a bear and I can actually attack things as a bear, which is, uh, which is certainly very interesting. Now the downside of, uh, of being a bear is that you do not have uh, access to the bear attacks, such as Maul, uh, Shockwave, uh, Hunger, and so forth and so on. So you're stuck just simply attacking uh, as a regular attack. But uh, the beast weapon is a very, very fast weapon, and it certainly will make your character attack very quickly. Um, there are definitely some characters that are based around the beast weapon, uh, specifically like, uh, you know, for, for attacking as quickly as you possibly can and being all tanky. There are certain benefits to being a bear. You get uh, extra damage and you get extra defense. Um, but I th I don't think in particular a lot of people use the beast specifically well. for the bear form, but a lot of people will use the beast specifically for that fanaticism aura. And, uh, and let's go back to the website again. So we have other effects here. We also have Prevent Monster Heal, which is another way that you can prevent monsters from healing. Now keep in mind there are certain monsters in the game that this will not work on. For instance, Ubers. So having the chance of open wounds on top of Prevent Monster Heal is definitely going to increase your chances of killing monsters. There is another variable here of 25 to 40 strength. And while this one might not seem like a huge deal, um, if you are a character who does not have a lot of strength to begin with, um, this can be absolutely excellent for you. So if you can manage to get that plus 40 to strength, it is going to make you have a lot more options open to you to be able to equip your, your, your gear. 
Um, plus 10 to energy is always nice for a little bit of extra mana. Plus 2 to mana after each kill. And of course it has level 13 summon grizzly charges. And uh, the grizzly bear is um, is actually kind of useful as a, a tank. He's not going to do like a massive amount of damage at level 13 uh, with no synergies. But if you were to summon him uh, specifically just to uh, to do a little bit of tanking for you, he can, he can absorb some damage. Uh, he's got about 650 life and uh, he's probably going to get murked by uh, a lot of the bosses and whatnot. But um, as a, a temporary distraction, he can uh, he can be useful. Um, and if you're a, if you're a summon necromancer, you can just have a bear along with your with your skeletons. He'll probably do okay because he won't get he won't get singled out, which is uh, which is a lot of the problem with when it comes to like mercenaries and uh, individual minions is they get singled out and then they get taken out really easily. But when you have an entire army like a necromancer has, um, it becomes a little bit of a moot point. There are very specific builds that are built around this particular axe. I believe uh, bear sorceresses are one of them. Um, there are pretty much any character that wants to put this weapon on is usually putting it on for either the fanaticism aura or the werebear slash uh, lycanthropy as well. And um, and it's just an amazing axe all around for uh, for zealers. It's an amazing axe for um, you know a summon necromancer it's an amazing axe for a for even a, a barbarian who wants to uh, do to be a fury barbarian maybe you're you're attacking as one attack as fast as you possibly can and fury's just not quite fast enough so you'd like to have fanaticism on top of that um, fanaticism is absolutely great and at level nine uh, we should take a look at fanaticism at level nine so uh, if we take a look at level nine fanaticism we will be getting a um, party damage bonus of 93 percent a uh, damage bonus to ourselves of 186%, a attack speed bonus of 29%, and an attack rating bonus of 80%. So a very nice extra effect there uh, that will help us out in the long run. Um, as a rune word, I definitely think that Beast is one of the, uh, the better rune words that people can make, especially if you are a character who specifically needs those effects. And... Um, it's just very nice. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and um, keep watching.